Historically, BIM 360 files could only be shared with the circle of members who were invited to a project. Today, BIM 360 provides a new Share via Public Link feature, making it possible to share project files with virtually anyone. In this session, we'll learn how to share a file using a public link. I'm going to start by logging into BIM 360 Docs. As you can see, I'm in a project called Route 25 Improvements. To start sharing files publicly, the first thing we need to do is verify the Share via Public Link service is enabled for this project. I'll do that by clicking on the waffle, and I'll choose Project Admin. Note that a Project Admin designation is required to activate the Public Link service. From the Project Admin area, I'll select Services, and on the left, I'll choose Document Management, followed by Advanced Settings. Here at the top, we'll find the toggle that allows public links to be created for this project. By default, the service is turned off. I'm going to click to turn it on, and right here, we can see that when the service is activated, each project member having at minimum a view download folder permission will be able to share files using a public link. Now that we've activated the service, I'll click the waffle again and return to Document Management, and we'll share a file. For this example, I'm going to navigate into the Project Files folder, I'll open the Drawings folder, and I'll find this file called Route 25 Utilities. In this case, I'm choosing to share a DWG. That said, it doesn't have to be a CAD drawing. I can create a public link to any file stored within the Project Files directory structure. Now, there are a couple ways to share the file. I can click the ellipsis button and choose Share from here. Let me click on screen to close this. Or I can select the file using this box on the left and then click the Share button at the top of the interface. The benefit of using this box is that I can select multiple files, or if I click at the very top, all files in this folder. I'm going to click to deselect all of these, and then I'll reselect the Utilities drawing. I will then click Share. In the Share Link dialog box, I'll open the menu and choose Share with Public. By default, the public link I'm creating will expire in two weeks. If I click on the date, however, I can select the expiration date of my choice. Using these options below, I can send an email containing the public link right from here, or if I click the link option, I can copy the public link to my clipboard and then paste it into an email or a document or a web page. For this example, I'm going to send the email from here. I'll enter an email address and a quick message. Finally, I'll use this menu at the bottom to select the version of the file I'd like to share. Current version fixed means the user will download the version that is current at this moment. Current version latest means the user will download the version that is current at the time of download. For this example, I'll set this to latest, and I'll click send. The recipient or recipients will then receive an email containing a hyperlink they can use to download the shared file. Note that it's very easy to identify files that have been shared publicly. Knowing that, let's talk about deleting public links. In the event you'd like to delete a public link prior to the expiration date, you can do it from the ellipsis button, or from the checkbox, or you can do it from the rollover tooltip. So when it comes to file sharing, we are no longer restricted to the circle of members that have been invited to a project. Using the new Share via Public Link feature, BIM 360 makes it possible to share files with anyone, giving you the freedom to collaborate with a virtually limitless audience. Would you like to explore additional Autodesk Cloud Collaborative ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the AEC Connection blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.